What's up guys, just to give this uh, vlog stuff a chance here again. So with this uh, COVID stuff going on, I'm stuck working from home. I'm on uh, Facebook a lot, posting up all the time, answering questions, doing whatnot. Uh, but I also got to shoot <clears throat> new material. So I um, made a little uh, home studio at home. I can uh, I brought the turntable home, can film wheels, do different things, and then you know, obviously edit here at night. So I'm gonna show you how I do my turntable videos. Um, we'll go over to the other room here and we'll set everything all up. So basically what we have here is, I have a standard turntable, and uh, just unplug it, plug it in, or hook it up to a six plug, turn it off and on. Doesn't have a switch or speed or anything, it's just the basic one. I got some, uh, like metal flashing for like a, a shed or fence we plug, uh, chopped it up it was a, like a six foot or 12 foot or eight foot piece and I cut it in two little sections here to make a little background switch up my wall and then uh, it's kind of layered them together there make it long enough so I can perfectly fit the wheel in there when I'm shooting I have uh, two of these Jung Nuo RGB LED light sticks. Let's take standard Sony batteries. Got one over here. And I just use them to uh, light up the background. And then I have a Luxio RGB one that I use to light up the front of the wheel here. So you'll see it when it's all fully set here. I have one on each side, the one in the front, and then set the camera here in the back to uh, keep it st still on the tripod. Uh, I got a variety of wheels here. I got uh, Concept Ones and a couple of new clutches. I gotta put a center cap in that one. Uh, first I start off by cleaning them all. It's you know, standard light little cleaner. You don't want anything too waxy to show up in the video. So I mean, I'm gonna get rid of all the dust. And uh, make sure everything's there. Make sure all the bolts are there. You never know. Uh, valve caps, valve stems. Oh, that one's missing a valve stem. I just noticed that. So always look for that stuff because then you'll, you can't edit it later. So for these ones, I've been doing blue RGB on one side, or blue lights on one side, and the red lights on the other side. Kind of gets a cool little look here. So. On one side of the corrugated, you see the blue, the other side you see the red. Kind of lights up kind of cool, especially when the wheel's turning. You get to the different angles of it. This hits the, uh, the opposing side of it. Um, pretty much, pretty much I put them at a max power. Just gotta make sure, you know, line them up to right so it's in there, but it's outside of your video range. And it should be good there. Let's kind of twist this one a little bit. And then always make sure your logos are straight. Uh, when setting this up, I just pretty much try to get it as much perfectly in the center as I can. Uh, different widths wheels will obviously be different. Um, so it actually kind of looks like it's in the front a little more. I probably had a slightly wider wheel there last time, so I gotta slide this back a little bit. I have a little plexiglass thing here that the wheel perfectly sits in so then roll around. You can also use little rubber like drawer stoppers. Let's put one on each side and it'll stop it from rolling side to side as it's spinning. Yeah. So that kind of looks centered, but when you're back here, looks like it's forward a little bit. I'll probably slide it back just a little bit. Get it set a little better there. And then always make sure to dust everything off again real quick. The video is a little harder to uh, get rid of all that stuff. And let's get this front light going here. And this one's got crazy effects. So there we go. Should be all the way on.
And see when you uh, kill the lights here. Gets a little bit of a cooler effect there. Still daylight outside, but it still works. So, now we'll take over to the camera here. Always want to center up your focus there. Looks like I'm off to the left a little bit. Pretty good. Um, when I frame it here, I just want to make sure I'm not getting any of the background, like the my actual wall. Um, I can always zoom in a little bit when I do, when I go go to edit it. So I get a little bit below, so I still have the turntable in there, but when I edit it, I can crop it perfectly to the line of the of the uh, turntable because I am editing these into uh, perfect squares for Instagram. So you won't see the wall here or anything. It'll just be a perfect square. I'll cut it right at the bottom of the turntable. It'll get pretty much probably right there at the top. And then obviously the sides will be gone and it will be all good. All right, so here I'll show you a little behind the scenes of what I do. I do a pretty much a wide out shot so I can get the whole thing spinning. I'll have it go around a few times and I'll do a couple closer shots uh, real close up. I'm using a 2470 here uh, with the 1DX Mark II, so it's full frame. Um, when I zoom in, it's zoomed, but it's not like super, super, super close, so I have to uh, do a second shot a little bit closer. Um, I'll start the wheel a little bit behind where I want it to start because this, I don't have a switch for this, so I could hook it up to a six plug and then go from there. So uh, let me get started with that. Here you can see I move it back a little bit. Uh, looking pretty good there, brightness wise. So I'll start the recording and then I'll go over here and get it spinning. And pretty much it does it itself. Now I can sit back and chill for a minute. So with the light to the one side, it's kind of harsh on it but it shows off a lot of the features real good which is what we're trying to show like all the machining on the uh, the fins and stuff it's not like a perfectly fat flat spoke it's got a lot of angles and stuff like that to it so you always want to always find out what your client wants to show off also this is kind of the, the boring part of it Just let it sit in auto and do what it does Um, it's gone around three times, I believe. I'll probably let it stop it after this one. So I usually, when I edit it, I usually do two spins around. I have a third one in there just in case. Sometimes it gets messed up focus. And we'll stop it there. Now we've gotten the camera a lot closer here. You can see well, I can't see. You can see I uh, get a lot closer. You can see all the uh, different details in the shot here well, on the wheel. Um, so I'm gonna have it go around again a couple times. Get close-ups of uh, different parts of the wheel. You can be able to see like all the, the details in there. But there we go. So I'll do, I do the exact same thing as I did before. Move it back a little bit. Start the recording, let it start. All right, so get you a little better angle here. As it comes around, you can see how close it is. See with the light, it's 
such a harsh angle there. You see all the shines coming off of that metal, off of the angles of the wheel. Also with the uh, different colors on each side, the red and the blue, changes it up a little bit. But super, super simple setup. So it's three lights, we got our RGB, RGB red on one side, RGB blue on the other side. Uh, another smaller RGB light here on the front. So it's, just, you know, it's RGB also, but I did it on a, a regular white light. And the camera in the center. I had to uh, use a drawer and a piece of wood here to raise this up higher so it wasn't on the carpet, keep it a little flatter. But other than that, not too much to it. But here you can see all nice and close to it. Might do one at a little bit of angle too. Let's see, let's get another shot here. Move the camera like a harsh angle to the right so we can film the wheel coming around at it. Stays focused on the uh, spoke there. It's kind of cool. You mix that in with the so then I'll have the, the full wheel spinning, the full view of the wheel spinning, and I'll just edit into those smaller little clips. So that we can... Okay, get the other side there. All right, so that was the basic setup here. Now we're gonna do a aerial shot of the wheel. It looks like as the wheel would be spinning on your car. So I have to do a whole different setup here. It's to lay the wheel down, obviously, and then I'm gonna use my tripod to kind of extend over the wheel and be straight up above it, and I'll be holding the main light myself. All right, so now here's setup number two. I just made everything the opposite, so the wheel's flat, now the camera is high up in the air. So you see here, I had to put the tripod a lot higher. It's straight up and over the wheel here. Oh, let's get a little view going here. See it's perfectly centered in there. So then it'll spin just like if it was on a car. Um, still have the light there, the blue light, stuff like that, give it a little bit. You'll see a little bit coming off of the spokes a little bit. Um, and I'll be zoomed in, but you can see it's super dark. Well, it's in this camera, try making it a little better than it is. So this time I will be manually moving the light over to give a cooler look, more stylized look off of the spokes as it's spinning. So let me figure out a way to mount you guys up here so you can see that, because it's a little hard to do one-handed. All right, so get the wheel spinning. Got the camera focused in the middle. And try to show the most light when the center cap is perfectly flat. So the K is straight up and down now. Like it kind of fades away, you can make the light go away from it. A lot of times I'll edit to that. So I'll do like, in general, going around, try to plan it out where it's uh, they're not as visible as much until it gets perfectly flat, and then I'll have the lights highlight the center cap a little better. So, or you can kind of go like, out to in, and it makes the K light up real cool. directly on, it'll uh, make the center really bright, and then the outside gets a little darker. Just keep an eye out for hot spots, especially like on the brighter colors, they tend to uh, 
do hot spots a little easier. Then you can always fade it out, do like a your own look, like fade the black rather than doing post. Start with the close and kind of zoom out. Wide out, so I'll do one like, zoomed in real close. Pretty much just get solid on of the uh, center cap there. Pretty much it. Let's see. Let me do uh so here's what I was talking about with the let's see if you can see it. Maybe you can see it like this. So you can see with the light as you move it around, it does cool effects off the spokes. So you can kind of dance it around. Just like perfectly curve around the wheel, get different looks. I'm getting glare from outside. But the biggest thing is just to try it, see how it looks, and then see which parts you want to edit into the final video. So I'll attach the uh, final videos to this. I um, guess I could do a little thing of how I edit it also, do a little screen share. But I have to do these other uh, one, two, three, four wheels. Well, I gotta find the valve stuff for that one. The other four wheels, and then uh, I'll get on the editing of them.